Kalen, we're through, I guess, 24 hours here in Langley for the top prospects game. Uh, you finish up combine testing on ice um, this morning. How was that experience for you? It was unreal. You know, you get to meet some of the guys last night, and obviously you know some of them. And uh, I think I got some pretty good friends here, so it's pretty cool being you know, out there with them. And then obviously we were doing testing today, and we were all still like kind of joking around, but we were all still pretty serious when we were doing the testing. So, yeah, it was a good experience. You talk about, you know, kind of balancing things out, taking it seriously, but also joking around. Um, how important is that to kind of maintain an even keel at an event where, you know, there's, I think it's safe to say there's a fair bit of pressure here. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely a big game for us. I think it's shown lots to scouts and to teams, but I think it's also for us just to meet other guys and get to have fun with our teammates. And like, like we don't get to play with those O and those Q guys very much. And you get to see them here and get to talk to them and see what their leagues are like. And then obviously you get to meet up with your friends and all the guys that play in the dub and get to talk about your rivalries you've had against to get with them this year. So yeah, it's pretty good. Any particular rival that uh, you know you're having some fun with here? Well, I just played Prince George, and me and Zemer were going out pretty good, so it was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, you're here representing the Red Deer Rebels. What does it mean to you to you know wear that crest and and be here as a part of the Rebels family? Yeah, obviously it's a big part of my life. It's a, my organization right now, and it's going to be my organization for my whole life and my dub team. And I think yeah, obviously Brent, it's a great organization, greatly ran our coaching staff all the way to our players. We just buy into character and culture, and I think that's just what our team is built of up there. What uh, you know, there's obviously a lot of pressure going through an NHL draft year. How have you tried to approach things this season? I think I've kind of just tried to, you got to try and block it out. Obviously, you see stuff and you t like to take a look. Every every kid does. As much as they say they don't, every kid likes to take a look. But still, you just got to try and keep pushing and keep going. It doesn't matter what number they say you are. You just got to keep going. It's not them picking. It's what the team thinks. Um, with the huge representation that the dub has at this event, is that something that you sort of as a group take pride in when you're talking to those guys from the Yeah, it's here? pretty cool. Sometimes, yeah, we got, we got a couple more dub guys, so I think we give it to them a little bit. But I think, yeah, it's kind of just all jokes and all just fun with all of us, yeah. Uh, and what does it feel like to be in this arena sort of as a, as a home rink? It's actually cool. I have never been to this rink, and so I've actually never been to Vancouver, so it's pretty good to come out here and then get to see the facility. It's a nice rink. I don't think we come out here this year, but we'll come out here next year, so it'll be pretty cool then. So you never came out here? No, I've he never been out to – no, never came out here when he was with the Canucks. See, I was kind of in the bubble when he was out here with the Canucks, so didn't really get to see each other. There was no fans in the rink at the time, and then he was in Seattle by the time I was would have been able to come watch him.